Day two of NFL free agency is underway, and there is a lot to get to on today's Philadelphia Eagles now to start our Tuesday. Philadelphia signing an offensive lineman. The Birds targeting safeties. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Justin Simmons buzz also gaining steam. And did Josh Sweat just say farewell to Philadelphia? And is the trade coming today or at some point soon? Because he took to Instagram and he said, I will miss you all. All of that is coming up on today's show. Appreciate everybody for being here. This is Eagles Now. I'm Chase Sr. Let's get to it. Today's show, by the way, sponsored by True Classic. I'm wearing one of their golf polos right now. Spring is right around the corner. A lot of people hitting the golf course, but do you like to hit the town with the homies on a date to get some drinks? Do you like to host shows or do you want to look good at work? True Classic has you covered 25% off. TrueClassic.com slash chat sports. We'll tell you more about them here in just a bit. What a blast on day one of free agency. And here we are on Tuesday about to run it back. Yesterday, we were live for eight plus hours. Four shows on Eagles now. Five YouTube shorts on the channel. We picked up 160 new subscribers. And we're going to be live again today. Let's go, birds, and let's get it. Zach Berman with this this morning that the Eagles are signing offensive lineman Matt Hennessy. A league source tells him and Bo Wolf of PHLY they agreed to terms on a one-year deal. Hennessy, 26 years old, started 22 games for the Falcons since entering the league as a third-round pick in 2020 at a Temple, adds depth on the interior of this Eagles offensive line. So where he played his college football at Lincoln Financial Field, he returns to Lincoln Financial Field. An interesting player, interesting signing. He's been injured a lot to start his NFL career. Still only 26 years old, started 22 games for Atlanta in his career, entered the league with a lot of pedigree out of Temple, 2020 third round pick, second team All-American with the Owls. He was a finalist for the Remington Trophy. Going down as one of the best offensive linemen in the game. Very smart guy as well. 3.7 GPA at Temple University. I also went to Temple University. My GPA was about a point lower than that. Don't have the brains of Matt Hennessy, but at least I can talk here for a living. Harvard and Yale showing interest in him coming out of high school. And he's played mostly center. In his NFL career, 1,138 snaps at center, according to Pro Football Focus. That's especially valuable in a post-Jason Kelsey world, as Zach Berman once again points out. Also, though, 232 snaps at left guard. He entered last year as the starting left guard before suffering a season-ending injury in August. You go back to 2021. That was when he had a Full season for once. And the pro football focus numbers were pretty solid. You look at them here. When I was scouring through them this morning alongside producer Chip, there's some good here. Overall pro football focus grade of 76.4. A pass blocking grade of 50.5. That's not great. What is good though? Run blocking grade of 88.1. Especially when you sign Saquon Barkley to $26 million in guaranteed money. Five penalties. Only gave up three sacks, one hit allowed. Those numbers also pretty solid. 32 pressures right up the gut, making the pocket muddy for your quarterback. That's not ideal. And the sample size there, not bad. 988 snaps in 2022. Overall pro football focus grade of 75.4. Pass blocking grade of 69. Very nice. How much? And a run blocking grade of 82.6. So again, there's some good here, especially with the run blocking and the overall pro football focus grades. Can he stay healthy? Really what this is for Philadelphia, you're taking a chance on a smart player, a player who is really good at Temple, a player who is a third round pick who's been injured a lot, but now he gets to join forces with the best offensive line coach in the NFL, in my opinion, in Jeff Statlin. At the very least, a depth signing who makes the roster as a depth signing. Maybe he doesn't even make the 53-man roster. If he does, and if he has to step in, the traits are certainly there. Plenty more to get to here on the show, but first, I want you to grade the Eagles free agency in a day plus up to this point so far, as Howie Roseman has been busy. A, B, C, D, or F, you let me know. Still to come, Josh Schwett hinting at a trade. C.J. Gardner-Johnson interest. 
Justin Simmons latest as the Eagles appear to be locked in, loaded, and ready to address the safety position. First, as I mentioned, you see the shirt that I'm rocking? It's True Classic. Go to trueclassic.com slash chat sports for up to 25% off right now. True Classic wants to make every man look good and feel good. Tighter fit in the chest and the sleeves to make your arms pop. And then room in the torso to keep things cozy. I'm telling you. All of their style, super soft and at a great price. I'm talking a great price. So you can look good and save money. What's better than that? And that's what you're getting. So guys, no excuses. Get rid of those ratty t-shirts with that crappy material. I know you've been hanging on to them for years. Look, it's ready to get rid of them. Your girl doesn't want to see that. And we have an exclusive deal for our listeners our viewers, and the real ones here on the show. We want to hook you up with some True Classic limited time only. 25% off using the code chatsports, trueclassic.com slash chatsports. In addition to the golf polo that I'm rocking, there are hoodies, incredibly soft, comfortable, and stylish. We were showing you the joggers as well. I run in some of their running shorts, which are also really comfortable. And then the pack of t-shirts, really good as well. As you can see, you see these pecs? I've done more than 100 push-ups since the start of November, in addition to my running streak being over 300 days. True Classic just brings out some of my best physical qualities. TrueClassic.com slash chat sports. To some buzz now, according to reports, after losing out on Xavier McKinney as he signed that $17 million per year deal with the Green Bay Packers, Eagles aggressively pursuing a safety. Two names really popping up. Derek Gunn, who spent years in the Eagles locker room for NBC Sports Philadelphia, should have never let him go. He was awesome. Saying this, last night, Eagles still have a lot of interest in C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Stay tuned. John Clark, also NBC Sports Philadelphia, one of the best in the business. This morning, Eagles aggressively pursuing a safety after Xavier McKinney signed with the Packers. C.D. Deuce, Justin Simmons. We will see how this shakes out. Thoughts on both players here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson played great for the Eagles in 2022. Lacerated kidney in 2022, cut a season short. Still tied with Justin Simmons, ironically enough, for the league lead in interceptions last year, torn peck. Didn't end great as far as him saying the fans are annoying, taking shots at the front office, but the swagger and the confidence and the injection of that in this defense is needed right now. As a player, really good instincts, a lot of versatility. He is a ball hawk who will intercept a lot of passes. And he is going to be much cheaper than the $17 million in average annual value for Xavier McKinney. There's no doubt about that. So you lose out on McKinney, but are you willing to pay a safety 17 mil per? And when you think back to the great Eagles teams, the ones who have made it to Super Bowls and have won big time games, Ryan Dawkins, Malcolm Jenkins, Philadelphia is just a better football unit and a better football city with a good safety. So I like the price point for C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Then you have Justin Simmons, who even at 30 years old, entering his year 31 as far as his age campaign, might be a little bit more expensive. Team captain, ball hawk, leads the NFL in picks since he was drafted in 2016, little bit of an older player than C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who's in his late 20s, but still in his prime, and a four-time second-team All-Pro. And he's still playing at an absolutely elite level. So if you had to pick a safety for the Eagles to sign here, day two of free agency at some point this week, who are you going with? Is it C.J. Gardner-Johnson? Is it Justin Simmons? Let me know. Josh Sweat taking to Instagram to say this, at Sweaty J. On Instagram, very interesting name choice right there for the profile. I will miss you all with the prayer emojis. John Clark, it's my understanding the Eagles are trying to find a trade for Josh Wett right now. Josh sent that out on Instagram. The signing of Bryce Huff, the emergence of Nolan Smith, signaled the end of either Josh Wett and or Hassan Reddick. Last four years, been a very impactful player for this Philadelphia Eagles defense under Jonathan Gannon, under Sean Desai and Matt Patricia, and obviously before that in 2020 when Doug Peterson was the head coach and Jim Schwartz was the DC. And a player who the Eagles took a shot on, 
day three pick out of Florida State. And they've overseen his development. He's turned into a really good player. He's still young. As you can see, there's been emergence in his game. Six sacks, seven and a half, a career high 11 in 2022, and then six and a half this past year. But Philadelphia wasn't really happy with how he tailed off and has signed Reddick tailed off at the end of the year. And that's why they go after a player like Bryce Huff, who hopefully is going to be motivated. He gets a bag, 17 million per. 10 sacks, 67 pressures last year while playing less than 50% of the snaps. That's a Howie Roseman analytical player right there. And so in 2023, you know, he graded out pretty well. It wasn't what he did in 2022, which we'll show you those numbers here in just a moment. Overall PFF grade 68.3 against the run, 53.3. Not bad at setting the edge. Pass rush grade is 74.1. 68 pressures, 45 hurts. Really good because you look at those two numbers here, and then you look at his PFF numbers in 2022 when he actually had less pressures at 43. Hurry number's still good at 23, but he graded out to be a much better player. But here's the thing. I've continued to say this about the Seagulls' defense. It's so hard to gauge who's good, who tailed off, and how bad the defensive system and scheme was, it's hard to gauge, like, is a player declining or was it the system? How good or how bad were they in 2023? But he was awesome in 2022. Those 11 sacks, you see the overall grades here and the run defense grades and pass rush grades, awesome. 86.6, 80.5, 82.1. But as we know, and as I just said, writing on the wall after Bryce Huff signed that deal, $17 million per that's even more than Hassan Reddick. It's more now than Josh Sweat. And you're not paying Nolan Smith all that much. So Bryce off Nolan Smith, maybe Reddick comes back. But it looks like Josh Sweat going to get dealt. I would not rule out a Hassan Reddick trade either. If you're enjoying our free agency coverage, we're going to go live here in just a little bit. That's why you hit that bell icon right here on YouTube and click all. Therefore, when we push out a video like this or when we do go live, you'll be notified. Real one roll call. If you're enjoying our coverage, type Real One right now, and we'll catch you in a bit live here on the show.